everyone. Today we are going to be testing out this slime solution kit I found in Dollar Tree and apparently it's non-toxic. Now I have used this before and I just bought the green one because I haven't gotten it yet and I just wanted to show you guys on camera on how to make it and I have used three before as in purple, blue, and pink and those were pretty good so let's get to it. So this set includes slime glue, glitter, and slime activator, but I am not gonna use glitter because it just kind of makes the slime stiff as I have tried it on my purple slime. As you can see, this purple slime is just kind of stiffer compared to the other slime that I'm going to show you guys right now. As you can see, this pink one is way more glossy and it's like a little more thick and well technically just a little more stretchy than the purple so first we are going to be adding all of the activator now that all the activator is in the bowl we are now going to add all of the slime glue once you have put in all of the glue mix for five minutes after about five minutes your mixture will turn into something gooey and chunky. So what you're going to do is transfer all of that onto a plate. So by now, you guys must be wondering on what is this weird gunky thing? Well, you need to knead the mixture until it becomes playable and not sticky. Now, as you can see, this slime mixture has become more slimy and less sticky and all. And now, if your slime is still sticky after a little bit of kneading, you may need to knead your slime a little bit more until it becomes just the right consistency. Now, as you can see, the activator kind of spilled here. That's kind of an epic fail because it ruined the background. And here it is, your glossy homemade slime. Not really homemade, you got the stuff from the store, but... Here it is, all beautiful, well made, and it's a pretty nice slime if you play with it gently. Like, it isn't too stretchy, but it is if you do it like this. And you guys must be wondering why my hand is wet. It's because I went and washed my hands. You should do that too, because your hands will get this very disgusting green residue. If you want, you can still knead the rest of the small bits of slime and use it and mix it into the batch. Just a little reminder that you will have to put your slime in some sort of airtight container when you're not using it. And that is how you make slime. 